I don't know what's going on, but this is just happening outside the Comic Con. Hi, yo! So today is the big surprise. We are not going to tell you where we're going yet, but Matt is dropping T and I off at Cousin Stacy's house. I and from there, you'll see when we get there. The house. You got to go bye bye from the house. Yeah. yeah. Are you going riding with Daddy? Bye bye. You going bye bye with Papa? Papa's working. He's always going bye bye with Papa, you guys. So yeah, we'll see you when we get there. All right guys, so we're still not telling you where we're going, but we're on our way. Cousin Stacy's here and Cousin Natalie. So you'll see when we get there. Girls day. It is a girls day. I haven't had a girls day in a long time. This is fun. Stacy, where are we going to? Comic Con. We are going to Comic Con, you guys. The very first one that T and I have ever been to. My head is freezing. And Miss Natalie is very experienced at it. Okay, now so. Come on. Ooh, elevator ride. Are you excited? What? Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? I don't know. I've never been over there. <laughs> I know you're excited, Stacy. Very. <laughs> Wolverine. 
So what do you want to say to everybody? Right. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're on the on. other end of the camera. Bring them on. I mean, that's that's the memorial, the memorial oh, building here in Cedar Rapids. Yeah. That is so cool. You want to take one home? You could sign up to win an iPod Mini, iPad Mini over there. there. And then we're also auctioning off the um, original artwork for the poster. Okay, so I've been talking to the Powerpuff Girls. Who are you guys with then? Linear we're with Linear Credit, Linear Credit Union. Union. Okay, and the proceeds yeah, are all going to charity. The proceeds for the silent auction for the Phil Hester artwork are going to charity. They're going to the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy. That's awesome. See you guys, the Powerpuff Girls are superheroes. We will save the day. Your <laughs> costumes are awesome. Oh, thank you. We were looking at them. The backs light up and everything, right? Yep. Yeah, look at this, wow. you guys. Look at this. They're all flashing and everything. That's awesome. We are at a really, really special booth because Cousin Ryan has one set up here. And I don't know if I've told you guys in the past, but he writes comic books. So we are waiting in the crowd to come and say hello. Uh, this is my niece Natalie. This is my cousin Chrissy. And this is my cousin Chrissy's aunt here. So, how is everybody? Awesome. We had to tell them we have a special guest on the vlog today. Hello. Comic book writer. Ryan Schroet, look at that, you guys. His booth is awesome. He's got all his stuff out. Is this all your original artwork, Ryan? Uh, yeah, this is all the artwork. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Didn't know we had a comic book writer in the family, did you guys? <laughs> B12 and D Ribos. D Ribos helps aid in the production of energy at the cellular level. So, whereas caffeine goes up here and then crashes you, this is not going to crash you. This is actually going to make you feel very healthy. It will. Your body produces D Ribos. I don't think that's me. <laughs> you said it's good for all ages, right? Just different flavors. So, so where is it available? It's in uh, all the, throughout the Midwest at game stores, local game stores. Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Indiana, Illinois. Illinois. All right, so you guys, we have some Illinois viewers. So oh. there you go. What's it called? Gamergy. Yep, Gamergy. The ultimate gamers drink. Clean nice. energy. No caffeine. So if you're into gaming, guys, check there it, it out. There it is. Yes. Go to I'm going to try their blue one and let you know. Blue no, you, hey, you let me know. Blue. Yeah, you let yeah, me yep, know. Yep, yep. Put it out there, send it to us in the video. Oh, and it's sponsor. really, really good, you guys. Sponsor. Stacy and I are feeling very nostalgic here because we're trying to get up to this booth that has an actual garbage pail kid doll. I have to come over to this booth because I found a fellow author. So, uh, hi, I'm Chrissy. So tell everybody, is this your book? Yes, it's right. co-author as well. Co-author, okay, so we've got two authors. So, who are you? I'm Jordan Pinkney. And I'm Will Lindsay. I'm Chrissy Riverton. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. So tell our viewers about your book. Uh, so it's a young adult sci-fi fantasy and perfect you guys super inspired from star wars lord of the rings doom you know since we were children so we decided to put it all together and make our own young adult sci-fi and it's about a 16 year old girl who's haunted by horrible dreams and in order to understand what she goes through she has to go meet her estranged father and when she goes to his farm it changes her forever nice 
So I told you guys I was doing research because this is my first convention and I'm thinking about going to them and now you met an author who's at one. There so you go. it was nice to meet it was you guys. Nice to meet you. And where can they pick up your book besides at a convention? Uh, Barnes and Noble, Next Page Books, and then you can get them on Amazon as well. Awesome. There you go. Awesome. So now you go know guys and I'll show you the cover because it's really cool. Check it out. Right in Tierland's, like the goggles. heart of Tierland country, right here, you guys. I love Look at this. So she cool. she I'm has wild. her I'm goggles wild. on today. Put them on so everybody can see. Just a little bit. I know you don't want to mess up your new hairstyle. <laughs> you look awesome. I'm just gonna start wearing them, whatever. You should. I don't care. Right, we found Nat's book, the booth, you guys. I can't talk. I never can talk on here. Look at this. This, this is Nat World, right? This is totally you. All right, so who are you? Ray. You are absolutely adorable. <laughs> Look at her little mini outfit, you guys. That is so cute. <laughs> look really awesome. I gotta see your little pot here though. That is very cool. <laughs> okay, so I had to come over and stop and say hello to her. Hi. Paige. Hi Paige. Hi. So guys, everybody, this is Paige and her makeup is so cool. Look at that outfit. <laughs> that is awesome. So is yours. Huh, it is you. beautiful. <laughs> showing me this and I don't know if I can get you guys a close up. So she's like, what is this? And I'm like, I don't know, I think you eat it. And Natalie's like, no, it's a figure. That's what they look like, Chrissy. I would have tried to eat it, you guys. There's all these crocheted items and you're wearing some on your head right now, aren't you? So what is your business? Entangled Stitches. Entangled Stitches, you have a, set. yep, there it is, guys. Check that out. This is so cool. Look at her hair. And you're doing it right here at your booth. Yes. Be careful with that. Oh my god, Batman's dead. Oh my god. But yeah, this looks amazing. Thank you so much for being a guest on the show. Thank you. Guys, we'll have descriptions below where you can find this awesome cosplayer in Facebook. Support her, give her a like, show some of that love. And remember, we are the force, each and every one of us. So let's connect. May the force be with you and have a great day. I was catching part of his spiel, and this is a fellow YouTuber, so what is your channel? My channel is Ma Creations, that's M-O-C-H, for those of you who are Star Wars fans, the Dune Mosh technique, that's where I took my name from, but um, this is my first ever segment of Comic-Con Conversations, I'm a brand new YouTuber, so if you guys are interested, check that out, I'm going to have a lot of interviews with cosplayers, and two exclusive interviews with uh, both... Driftwood by Aaron and Unnecessary, unnecessary, uh, unnecessary Apostrophe Studios. He and talks like I do, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I've actually already been sponsored. Nice. I'm sponsored by Gamergy, so check them out. Great drink, low sugar, only 40 calories. Nice. Made think, by, do they have a booth over there? They do have a booth right it, over there. We tried it, we showed you guys. So. And made by Gamers for Gamers. Check them out, guys. I love it. My favorite is the Epic Green, so... Well, thank you so much for stopping by. And you guys, like, subscribe. The description will be down below, the link to it. So give him some love and go say hi. Leave a comment. All right. Thanks, guys. And then we have a little ninja turtle. You are adorable. And the big ninja turtle. 
So we have come to the end of our time at the convention and decided to go up the stairs instead of trying to fight the elevator because there are a ton of people in it. But I have to say, my very first experience at a Comic-Con was amazing. If you ever get a chance to go, you should go. And they're totally kid-friendly. There were a lot of cool, really friendly people and really cool booths. But if you go, make sure you bring some money because there's lots of stuff to buy. Okay guys, I don't know what's going on, but this is just happening outside the Comic-Con. Yeah, we're on the right spot. Oh, so what did you hear, Stacy? Sorry, guys, that was a little freaky. We didn't know what was going to. It's in elevator three. It's. So we may not know what that ever was, you guys, but when we went to get on the elevator, all of a sudden there were firemen everywhere. Huh. He said, it's in elevator three. <laughs> yeah, it's in elevator three. We don't know what it says. It couldn't have been anything too major because they, weren't like because they didn't have the area cordoned off and you could use the elevator next to it. So my guess is it's probably something like maybe an item fell into the elevator shaft or an animal. Yeah. Could be an animal. Could I don't know. I've never person. seen them do that. Though. A person they is just the it. bodies in elevator three. <laughs> we have no idea. I really wish I could hear a scanner right now just so I know what the it is. Yeah. But if we find out what the it is, I told you the craziest things happen. That's why I started vlogging. Exactly. <laughs> because sometimes I'm like, people would never believe this if I didn't have it recorded. <laughs> But if we find out, we will tell you guys what it was. Anyway, that was a really, really awesome experience. T, what did you think of your first time? It was fun. And Natalie, you're a pro. What do you love about them? Buying stuff. Buying stuff? <laughs> and dressing up, right? Yeah. You said you'd dress up every day if you could, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. What do you love about them, Stacey? I love that they're happy. And all I guess they they are, you life. guys. They, it was really show. fun. Like, nobody was rude there. Mm -mm. Everybody was just, like, Very into their accepting. thing. Yeah, they were. And you know what? My editor had told me when I talked to him on the phone, I told him I was going to go because he's been asking me to go check out some of the conventions. Just walk, them or walk around them, see what they're like, because a lot of authors do signings on them. And he's like, you're going to find that like nobody cares who you are. Like Everybody will accept you. It doesn't matter who you are. And it really was that environment there. It was very cool. People were like, I pulled out the camera and people are like, yeah, yeah you want to take a picture? I'm like, no, I want to put you on my vlog. And they were like, oh, okay. It was, <laughs> it was the same cool. way at Anime Iowa. They're all very accepting of everybody. Mom. So I'm really excited to take you guys to some future ones with me because I will be getting booths and signing there. And if you're ever in the area, you can come check it out. And we were at Comic-Con. Cousin Stacy picked up something really cool for tea. I got to show you guys this. And she's waited to show you guys to open it. So this is what, a Japanese soft, soda? Yeah, it's a soft drink. That's really cool, so look at all that. What's the back look like? Labels and how to open it and stuff. 
Oh, look, it still has deposits and everything in the United I States, so that's cool. I want a drink. I want a drink. No, you have a drink. Okay. All right, so what we're going to show you, though, is the cool part drink. because Cousin Natalie had one, and you got to see how it opens. Hey. Hold on. This opens really different than any other bottle we have here in America. So she had to pop off this top piece and then check it out. There's like a little marble looking thing in there. It took us like 10 minutes to figure out how to open Natalie's. Now what are you doing? I had to pop this center thing out. Oh. So, okay, so she had to pop out the center and then what do you, oh. Watch. And it's not easy to open these bottles of soda, you guys. Did you get it? Yep. And you have to pop the marble into the bottom of the bottle. And the marble is not swallowed. You can't swallow it. It's too big. So it's, oh, look at that. It's just like sitting right there. Shake it around again once. That is so weird. Try it. All right, try it. Look at the cap it's got. So how is it? I want to try it. Tastes like orange soda. I want to try it. <laughs> I want to try it. All right, so it is the end of our night. It was an awesome, awesome day. And I got the best piece of news this evening. So my book that's going into print is finished at the copy editor. And as soon as I know the release date, I will let you guys know. So I'm, I'm pumped. And that is this book, those covers that I showed you earlier today. That's this book going into print for the very first time. And the ebook version is being revamped as well. So as soon as that is finished, I will let you guys know when it is available. But yeah. So another step into my big dream, you know, and getting the book out in print was just amazing to me. It's it's gonna be amazing when I'm finally holding a copy in my hand. So Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.